Hello everyone, I am Duke James. This is a continuation of my Who Needs Vasco da Gama achievement run in Crusader Kings 2. So we got about two years and then we can go to Max Tribal Organization. There's a couple there's a Sunni rebellion and a Catholic rebellion currently going on. That one's over. And that one's over. We're 52. I imagine we'll live. This guy wants to be friends? Sure. Let's get ships. All the ships we can get. That's all the ships we can get. That's enough. 66 ships. Uh, do, do, do I know exactly how this guy feels? If he wants a heaven on earth or in the afterlife, pleasure is everything. Okay. This guy wants to drink. Uh, no. I can't. I can't risk it. This guy also wants to be friends. Everybody's my friend. Let's see, we could loot. I guess we could always just loot the uh, Umayyads. Or not. Deal with this. Deal with this revolt first. You guys just rose up. Not even less than a year ago. And everybody in my family is having daughters. I think there's been like six more people. There's been five more children born. One of them was a daughter. Also, this woman has a child portrait, even though she's 21 years old. Somebody just died. My wife died. My wife was killed by a wild beast. What? What is going on? It's hard finding old wives, because they always die. Where was that woman? She's here.
All right, we can go back to looting now. Or not. What is this? I guess it's a 20% revolt risk. That's what's doing it. Alright, well y'all can get in my dungeon. Might as well just keep these troops here. I'm going to order these guys to go here. I guarantee once they get there, they're going to rise up. And this guy wants me to join his um, reconquest war. And I just think that's a horrible idea. Because he's first of all, he's giving me 10 gold. And then he's asking me to make him more powerful. That's not a great trade-off. See, let's do some building. I don't want to spend too much gold because I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a lot of gold once I convert to a merchant republic. Especially on the election. Arm wrestling challenge. I don't want to duel anybody, so. I can change this May 5th. This guy is going to attack me for the Kingdom of Andalusia. Might as well try and kill him. It's probably not going to happen, but... We'll see. We found a chest. Those are usually worthless. Everybody will vote. They've approved. So I can now form a merchant republic. Alright, so I have all cities. Over here, at least. Lisbon is my capital. That's where I want it to be. I have two kingdom level titles, so I can't, there's not really anything I can usurp. This guy will be here in about a year and a half. I imagine I'm not going to lose too many troops. I do have a bunch of gold though, so I can hire mercs in case this guy has a billion troops. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Let's found that Merchant Republic.
hopefully most of those families are over here. So they build their trade whatever over there. And they leave this area to me. That'd be nice. Let's go ahead and build trade post there. We'll build a hospital. We'll get level two trade practices. Build an arsenal. Build a mansion so we can get to the uh, next level. Throw some gold in the fund. So our kid takes over. Just uh, throw a lot of gold in there. Build a trade port there. Build some hospitals. Okay, this uh, the tribe converted to a city. And there's a couple holding slots where I can build cities. So that's nice. Get rid of some places. Let's get rid of this one. Read that. I'll get rid of Upland too. Grant landed title, Upland. That gets me down to seven. Four years, I'll change the uh, centralization so I can get an extra holding. Now the uh, next thing is dealing with this adventurer. Alright, so we are now a merchant republic. We are building three trade posts. 
we're going to upgrade those trade posts and then deal with this uh, adventurer threat. So I'll end this part here and pick it up in the next part. From here, thanks for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.